Right, now when you've got your list, the next thing you need to do is set up a sign up form, okay? So this allows you to get people onto your list, okay? So here, so when you first set it up, it takes you to this page, so you can click up sign up forms there. But when you um, have logged in for a second time, you didn't get to go, you know, do it all in one sitting, then just click on list. It's a list of all the lists, <laughs> and then you click on demo there. Okay, and then you go to sign up forms there. <clears throat> now this is um, a general, this is your general form. So this you can sort of edit here and then I'll go through the other options later. So this is your sort of baseline as you were. So um, you can allow your subscribers to pick the different email formats if you want to. And you can also protect your sign up form with... Um, capture which basically means that someone has to type in the word that's on that page um, I don't tend to do that because it's another thing it's a barrier that someone has to do and, and at the end of the day it's not necessarily costing you money uh, having someone on your list and you can soon by looking at all your um, when I say that obviously when you go over 2000 it's going to start costing you so you might want to do some list cleaning but um, you can monitor like you know the bounces and, and who um, opens and who doesn't and start cleaning your list that way so I don't tend to have that because you've probably probably been on the receiving end of not being able to do something because you can't quite read that text on that screen because it's all blurred out and meant to be really hard um, up to you okay now so a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually use this as a landing page. The base up, basically, if you don't have a website, then you can still be start. You can still start to capture your email list. So if I put that in here, you know, you basically can send people to this page. Obviously, you can put lots of text and stuff on here, but that you know that will allow people to to jump onto your list. And we'll talk about the different things you can do when someone signs up to your list later. So, um, here's the, the form designer, okay, so you can build it, and that means you can add in as many of these things as you want. So, if it's just a sign up to my list and I'll email you my free guide, which we'll talk about later, then you really want to have as few options as possible um, because you don't want to put them off. So, maybe their email address and their first name so that you can personalise it. Some people even just, just go for the email address you um you can you know you if you were doing like a vip club or they what you wanted to get more information from them so if they were in, inquiring about a business opportunity or something a little bit bigger than like a small purchase then you probably could ask them a few more questions you know how much do they have to spend and and it's also it's quite nice to collect people's birthdays and things so if you were giving something away you could ask them for a bit more information or you basically want to get them on your list with, with just email and name and then lead them into a second form um, with a second ethical bribe or something, which again, we'll talk about later, but asking them for a bit more information. So like birthday, then you could send them like birthday gifts and things via email. Um, you know, you can get their addresses and stuff. So obviously every business is different. Every, every business need is different. So, um, you know, it's completely up to you what you have on your form, but you can basically add them here. So if I wanted to add birthday, I would just click on it. Oh no, I, oh yeah, so I just click on it and it adds it in here, okay? And if I want to delete it, it always makes you type in delete because it obviously doesn't want you to do it by accident, which is a good thing. Okay, so there's I'm building it. So that's, that's there. And you can edit here. So um, you could have... Um, Okay, obviously you can put anything in there, you can uh, colour it, uh, you can basically, you can add in an image, so you can make it quite a nice pretty landing page if you wanted to. Now I don't want to be, you know, it's, it's like Word basically, so if you can use Word then you can do this. And you can put a little message in here, so, okay, Let's see here. Okay, then you can design it. So this allows you to change the text, so the background colour, you know, depending on your branding colours. Obviously, that's not great because I've got red title, but I'm just doing this just to show you, okay? I'm not really designing a wonderful form here. Um, that looks terrible. 
so um, you can see though that you can you can put your logo on it you can make it look really great so it can be used as a landing page which actually is is free and it gets it means if you haven't got a website you can still be putting all your traffic over to this page and uh, building your mailing list right from the beginning which is is perfect okay so you can also so translate it you see you might want um you might want uh, say it says subscribe to list so you might want claim my free gift or something like that okay so if we go over to uh, sign up forms go back to general forms I come off of it I don't know if I saved it yeah, see, claim my free gift. So instead of subscribe, you can start, you know, changing the text and things, you know, claim, you know, yes, send it to me now type things instead of subscribe to list, which might put people off, okay? So that's how you set up your form. To share it, you could use that. Or I will go on next on how you can embed it and also you can add it into Facebook and things. But that's how you create your form.